You are not currently investigating any weird mystery. Recent newspaper clippings and notes collected in the next room should point you in the right direction. All right, let's keep going. So we've done two mysteries. There's only three presumably left, right? So where is the last one? I only see, do we unlock it maybe after doing the others? Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, tragic tale of a thaumaturg teacher. Let's do this one. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. As the decades roll on, technology is only developed further. These days, computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. Oh, Sandals would love this. He would love a BBS. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anybody can connect to a bulletin system or even host one of their own. I think Sandals would be a tech kid like that. If, if he... If he grew up back then, like forums are where he he got his ARG stuff, right? Like growing up, he never had. So here's some official canon Cape Escape lore for all of you. So Sandals, uh, because his parents are really old, uh, grew up like really low tech. Sandals did not have cable growing up. Uh, and his computer... <laughs> is like a computer hand-me-down that like, so both of his parents work for the school district. Uh, his mother is literally like a secretary in the like the main office of like a, of like a public school, like an elementary school or middle school or something. I think it's actually probably high school. But uh, so as a result, his computer is like a computer lab computer from a school that was phased out way later than like it ever should have been. Um, so he grew up in a house without cable. His primary uh, sources of like entertainment were like edutainment. So it was like PBS. Like he's probably watched the Ken Burns baseball documentary 400 times with his dad. Um, things like that. Um, this is also why he's like a little bit weirdly outdoorsy because like his dad's idea of fun is like, let's go fishing on the lake, son. And then they go fishing like that's what he's good at. But uh, the reason why he's not super technologically capable is because he grew up on like a Windows 95 PC in 2008 and like had dial up his whole life. So most of his internet knowledge and experience came in the form of ARGs and like web content that is like doesn't require a lot of power to, to play. like he wasn't playing video games. Sandals has never played a video game, but he does watch YouTube and like access web stuff that is like, you just need an internet connection to do. So like forums and reading creepypasta and stuff like that. So that's where his background is. Hmm. Lost my place for a second. Once you connect, you can read all the messages on that bulletin and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favorite topics, everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun and games. Rumors have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a bulletin system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. Shiokawa means salt river, by the way. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives? This is like prime sandals material hmm said that a famous priest died on this rock perhaps his mysticism has seeped into it touching it with your hand you feel a newfound knowledge forming in your mind knowledge check success hell yeah sandals touch the horror thing Mind drain, regain two reason, deals five damage. That is nuts. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. A shape shimmers beneath the surface. With a splashy sound, something emerges from the murky depths. Whoa, leech girl. That's terrifying. Can 
Can I cast Mind Drain multiple times? Let's do that. Gain a mind back. And yeah, it reduces my max reason by two to do that, but that's not too bad. And it doesn't cost reason to cast. <laughs> All right, let's see. We beat her in one turn. Nice. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you. So if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Dot, dot, dot. All right, we'll keep hold on that. Let's go to the school. Even if the rumored bulletin, bone, uh, bulletin systems phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one. Hmm. This is not good. <laughs> the corridor is flooded by a black sludge that's slowly oozing from underneath the door of the chemistry classroom. A damp, moldy stench grows as you get closer. How are you going to get to the other side? Take a detour. Better safe than sorry, you take the stairs up to another floor to avoid the sludge. While the school library's computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet her at her home in the city. This poor girl. Sandals definitely thinks that she's in love with him now. Stop right there, you hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. 12 HP, we can deal with this. Obsessed man, strong attack. Regular attack, doo doo. <clears throat> you missed, he punches me. How dare you. He's got five HP left. <laughs> All right, we killed him. That was scary. He did a lot of damage to us. Stamina again, get some back. Well, no, let's, um, our strength is really low. All right. I think Sandals would get the signed contract, but I don't know if extra funds are helpful for us because we lost the shop. So maybe Outdoorsman? <clears throat> you 
You lug the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. God damn, our computer's heavy. <laughs> hey, I'm really busy today. Let's hang out some other time, okay? Okay. Come on. Come on, lady. We have to rest a little bit. So all the painkillers, blah, blah, blah. Increase our doom a bit, but that's fine. Travel to apartments. We're already under, we're still way under our doom quota, so. Investigate the apartments. Or right, let's see. Does she have anything to say? Hey, I'm really busy. All right. Maybe next time. Maybe next time Maven will hang out with us. That pair has been following you since the morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Minus two stamina, no! My stamina! That's fine. All right, uh, apartments. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? You put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Sandals doesn't like charlatans. What is this? Oh, heal injuries. Still have some time before you're asked to the office. Office. Hold on. Enter doctor's office. Move to corridor A. A nurse walks back to you, past you in a hurry. Enter doctor's office. You're finally asked. Uh, oh, okay. That that's for something really specific. Okay. So we we're at a 19 horror or 19 doom advantage. So we can just go ahead and continue. Oh, I didn't read the card. Oops. As part of therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread. Minus two reason. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home at the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. Oh my god, would Sh Sandals Shapiro someone? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if he would... I think Sandals is not really, I think Sandals would find conspiracy theory nuts like annoying because like Sandals is really, like Sandals doesn't like like true crime and doesn't like actual conspiracies. He likes stories. And then even as he learns that there's like another side of the world that no one else knows, he like quietly wants to participate in it and wants to know the truth of the world He's not out there sitting on the street going like, the end is nigh. You know, that's just not his vibe. Investigate hospital. <clears throat> you meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Don't ruin the calm moment. Sometimes it's better not to know. You chat until your friend's break is over. Plus one reason. Yay. Uh, I think Sandals, like, the best way to describe it is, like, Sandals wants people to be able to live their very ignorant lives. Like, everything Sandals does is with the express purpose of allowing his parents to die a boring life. And, like, I don't, I don't mean that in, like, a grim way. I mean that in a, like... His parents did their best to raise him. He's very grateful to them. He loves them very deeply. And the only thing in the world they care about is sitting in their recliners and, you know, watching uh, a good family-friendly documentary. The most exciting thing that happens to them on a daily basis is, like, his dad goes fishing. His mom, um, a, a kid at school said a funny joke. Wow, Downton Abbey is playing on Masterpiece Theater. Like, that's... That's the beautiful, normal human life that Sandals 
wants to protect. Like, he thinks everyone is entitled to that and thinks that that's like the platonic ideal of the world and the universe, where it's like, Sandals, I think, wishes beyond reason that the world was not as complicated as it was and that people could just live the idyllic day-by-day -day life that his parents lived. Uh, and he wants to protect that for his parents. So uh, all of Sandals' motivation when it comes to things like understanding the truth of the world and protecting people from eldritch horror does not come from a place of wanting power to like, you know, to like be the superhero who like saves the day. Sandals literally just wants to ensure that people don't need to know things. Like if the world is so wrong and bad that there is an eldritch horror out there, his number one prerogative is to make it 100% possible for someone to exist without needing to be worried about the eldritch horror. Not in a, I'm gonna go beat it up way, but in a, we will make this a non-problem way. So Sandals, if he learned that the Illuminati existed, his goal would not be to reveal the Illuminati to the world. It would be to learn what the Illuminati knows and then prevent them from doing things that hurt other people. That's his thing. Uh, not necessarily unaware and safe. Like his his goal, so simply the word says he's the type who wants to hide the world's secrets to keep the world unaware and safe. It's not that he wants to keep them unaware. It's And it's not even that he wants to keep them safe. It's that he doesn't want the truth to hurt people. So he does his best to make it so that whatever the truth is, is not so powerful that it can disrupt the day-to-day the -day concerns of people's lives. So yeah, Sandals, probably his solution to the Illuminati would be to find a way to uh, gain everything that they know, get a step ahead of them, and then dismantle them. <laughs> like, that's what he wants to do. Someone has been branding the patients with occult symbols. Branded like cattle. Are they preparing for a feast for their Eldritch Masters? Plus 4% doom. All right, that's not great. Oh, I forgot to read it again. God damn it. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved to another city. He left suddenly without saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wanted to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. Help your friend. Strength check. Su success. Wow, the six strength helped. Uh, you find another letter behind a wardrobe. It explains that the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company truck's driver's face. That's interesting. Plus five experience, though, so it didn't really hurt us at all. Investigate the forest location twice. Or, or no, we have to go to the shrine. Or the village. As you pull into the village bus stop, a news story comes on bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin searching down the village streets. As you walk through the village, crops waver in the breeze, following your every movement. Minus two reason. Come on. When you find the girl's house, your grandparents greet you solemn. Her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. That's spooky. But what if someone wants to be the Eldritch Horror, says Anachronic Rodin. Um... He doesn't care what people do in their the privacy of their own bedrooms as long as it doesn't harm other people. The investigation is taking a toll on you. You start to miss the most obvious leads, plus 4% doom. No, we don't want that. The recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Our master is coming and we can all bask in its glory. Magician glitched. Oh boy. Well...
grow teeth. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Mind drain. I can afford to do this one more time. Five damage, strong attack, regular attack. Missed the attack, but I stabbed him. Okay. Let's just go for it. Oh no, he's hurting me. He saps strength from me. Shame on you. There we go. 11 experience for that. So combat doesn't seem too brutal. We're surviving just fine. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone and then it finally connects. Interesting. Compl investigate computer. Horror. Horror no sekai. It's kill foo or something like that. I didn't actually read the... Uh, Will you enter? Welcome home. Did you like it so, uh, so far? Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear the words or a voice. You soon understand they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. If we don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence, a paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We'll all bring humanity together. Suffering is human. How can you believe that? Well, okay, if you want to suffer, go ahead. Your consciousness dips. By the time you snap out of it, you're strangling yourself with a phone cord. The entity assaults your mind, uh, but the struggle brings out the strength you didn't know you had. You refuse to die. Minus five stamina, plus 15% max stamina. That's not that helpful. You listen to the static key signal on the other end. It's harsh to your ear, but then the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. No, I have to fight my computer together. Ah! Order my allies to attack, then I will attack. Oh no. Equip. Shoot the computer sandals. I don't have time to change my equipment. Oh, it's hurting me, big time. Oh boy, it's fucking me up. Oh no, don't kill me. I miss the attack again. No, don't kill me. There we go. We destroyed the computer and we're really messed up now. You wrench the phone from your ear, near, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself for that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. In the bulletin's number in a phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you're met with a smiling, hanged teenager and a still-running unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the suicide's eventually slow. While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know the bulletin won't take any more new victims. Bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin, ending B, rewards for solving the mystery, 30 experience, 15% experience, or 45 total experience, minus 5 doom, time passes one day. <gasps> That was bad. We need more reason. Quick thinking. Additional inventory slot. No, we'll take quick thinking. <gasps> Dangerous bands of riders are gathering around the town town area. The police are hopeless. My home. Take the key. 
Take a bath. Stamina regained. Take a peek through the peephole. Spooky. Nothing else there. I can't believe he they made he made me a uh, <laughs> my own little custom sprite. That's so cool. Uh, all right, well, that's pretty brutal. You can't see anything. <laughs> all right, we'll start a new mystery. Is there anything I can do to get stuff back? Town status, you. Can't level up, old god, casting spells raises doom. We're at 54%. All right, uh, we only have one more to do. Tragic Tale of a Thaumaturgy Teacher. To be used to be one of the most outstanding classes in the school, at least before their teacher's disappearance. A replacement glides through the school, entrancing all those around her with her soft voice and calming emotionless eyes. Now she stands at the front of the class, scribbling occult symbols in chalk and hissing lessons about the old gods. The children no longer play, but sit in their seats until dark, chanting along, learning of the eldritch masters and preparing to serve them. All right. Immediately, we're gonna rest a bunch. There we go, much better. Uh, can I do it again? I can. Okay, so my reason is capped at 18, my stamina's at 20, we're good now. I needed to take some time just to rest, but it's fine. Doom went way up for resting, but at least you weren't near death. I am still below the Doom quota. If I was going at 20% per thing, I would be at 80 right now. So I have 12%, I have a 12% advantage currently. And it will decrease by five, hopefully, by the end of the uh, campaign. So we should be good. Following a rumor, you visit the house of a schoolgirl who acted really strange in class. The girl's parents sit crying in their living room, fearfully point you to upstairs. Let's investigate the apartment, right? Ooh, what's the neighbor have to say? Hey, I'm really busy today. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. Ask to join me. You're always such a kidder. Share a creepy story. Taru seems visibly shaken by your story. It's just a story, right? All right, we join. We have Taru with us now. And then uh, share a creepy story. Michi seems visibly shaken. Add Michi. And then share a creepy story. Kaede seems visibly shaken. Give me a break. Well, I don't have any more experience, so that's fine. So we have two new students with us. Plus one dexterity, minus one perception. Oh no, that's bad. Michi looks at you, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, she can be part of us. Now we have three party members. Kaizue says it would be cool if there was a Cape Escape investigation in the game. We are working on that currently. Let's go to the apartments. Your friend has asked you to meet them at a certain secluded location. Getting there, you find the telescope with a note signed by your friend. The note tells you to look through the telescope. You notice it, bloated body. It's getting closer. We already knew that. She sits in her bedroom in a bloodstained uniform, a dead rat lying in her hands. You ask why she, ask why she killed it. She just grins. Look at our party. As you prepare a bath, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. No, minus two stamina for that. Your body clearly wasn't prepared for a cold bath and you can feel a cold coming on, minus two. Bummer. I'm just uh, examining these two things. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Research occult notes. Plus spell minus reason, gain to spell. The notes lying nearby tell of an ancient civilian uh, civilization and unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. That's pretty interesting. I just want to complete the quest. 
Hearing footsteps, you turn around. Behind you stands a pretty woman in a sweater. Natural beauty. Yes, this is exactly what I need. You shudder seeing the weird woman reaching into her pocket and producing a nasty looking knife. Pretty face. Mind if I borrow it? Sandals is very pretty. Aspiring model. Okay. Six damage, base chance to hit. There we go. Tell our allies to attack. I missed my attack though. That's a bummer. The enemy seems to be weak against this type of weapon. Very good. Oh no, I sliced her face off. This should kill her. Wait, what's that? Pick it up. Lucky earrings! Awesome! Climbing a tree, you get a better view of the class. Weird schematics of some portal drawn on the blackboard could help in the future. Jewelry, equip, plus two luck. I can probably sell those for funds. Fancy earrings. The compass is really helping us, though. Uh, the compass is really helping us uh, because it gives us experience for everything we explore, which is probably a little bit better than the lucky earrings, even though the lucky earrings will, like, ostensibly get us stuff um, or allow us to pass, like, luck checks and stuff. It is just plus two, so... Village time. Following a weird light, you enter the abandoned village building. The whole room is illuminated by countless paper lanterns in many colors. One lantern, however, begins to get closer. No! Human lantern, no! Oh God. What's up with it? What do I need to do? I had to escape because I couldn't do damage to it. Hmm. Little boy from the school has been attacked by his classmates. I'm sorry, have you seen the doctor? He suddenly disappeared and I'm not sure whether surgery is over. Forgotten patient, oh no. I think this will kill it. There we go. All right. You find him in the hospital covered in bites. Just what is w with this whole summoning that he speaks of between his sobs? Hmm. Please don't be combat. While taking an elevator, you get a terrible feeling as if something bad is about to happen. The elevator doors open. Fuck! Elevator doors open, revealing a black mass of eyes and teeth pouring into the elevator, biting and suffocating you. Later, you wake up in a doctor's office. Nurse discovered you lying unconscious on the elevator floor. Travel to the school. With no other ideas, you decide to wait outside the school itself. Mm hmm. She said she would do everything to be with you, even if it meant to cheat death itself. Stalker girl. Sandals would be really into this. There we go. We beat her. Occult diary. Minus 3% doom, use, yes, please. Instantly. The faint chanting doesn't stop and no one enters or leaves the building.
Hmm. You enter the school bathroom to wash your face with cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors is opened on its own. Light the holy candle. You light the holy candle purifying the place. Minus three doom. Hell yeah. Plus two reason as well. That's not too bad. Investigate the weird classroom. You hear a scream coming from the school. It's time to enter. You sneak in through a window and skulk across the shadowy corridors. All the classrooms have emptied out. Peering into one, you spot the corpse of a teacher nailed to the chalkboard. Shaking, you approach it. You spot an odd bulge protruding from its stomach. Ooh-woo? Ooh-woo? It writhes against your fingers as you probe it. Ooh-woo? Suddenly, the teacher's chest rips apart, showering the classroom with gore. From within, a child coated in meat and intestines leaps out, screeching with joy. Gore-covered student. Okay, very good. I think we can beat it. We did it. As you near the gym hall, the chanting and rhythmic drums grow louder, threatening to intoxicate you. You creak the door open and stifle a scream. The entire school is gathered around a huge portal surrounded by black candles. From within, the bellowing of the beast being summoned echoes. The teacher stands at the front covered in a purple robe or true form revealed. No, it's an attack. 44 plus two doom per damage. No, this is bad. Can I equip this, please? Ugh, I can't even attack it. How the fuck do I, what am I supposed to do? Plus one stamina, minus two reason. The portal spun you in. Ritual was too short to have an effect. All right, it's spells time. Mind drain, mind drain, mind drain, mind drain, mind drain, mind drain, mind drain. Mind drain. Drain. Mind drain. That's all I can do. I'm forever at nine reason now, though. With her dying screen, the teacher throws herself into the portal. Her vicious master shows no mercy. You hear it devour her before the connection shuts. Minus 5% doom, 45 experience, which we love. Time passes. The confused children lie on the ground crying. Thanks to you, however, they are safe. The tragic tale of a thaumaturgy teacher ending A. Did the water level suddenly increase or is the city slowly sinking? Ooh, mysterious. Uh, this is really awful. We're doing really poorly. <laughs> Take the key. All right, we're actually at exactly our quota here, so that's good. You scrub yourself, but you'll never be clean again. Extra stamina increased as well. Not currently investigating any weird mystery. Start a new mystery. Here it is. Mailbox is empty. Oh, this is just the only one I need. I just go to the lighthouse, I guess, right? Don't see anything weird. Demolition of an old inner city shrine has resulted in an array of unfortunate accidents and most recently the death of six people suspected of arson. All right. Choose an action. No action to choose. All right, I guess we just have to go. We did four of these, right? Lighthouse time. Enter lighthouse. You need five keys. Open padlock E. Oh, all of them are open. Enter lighthouse. You finally made it inside the Cursed Lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things, that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place, that you should run away from this place as far and fast as you can. You are afraid 
There won't be a way back once you start climbing these stairs. Rest a bit. 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 All right. Climb. Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by numerous glass shards and knives. Find a switch. With a buzz, the gate opens. You've managed to locate the door and avoid the knives. Art knowledge is one of my abilities. You've got an eye for art. That's nice. Finding the... Following the winding staircase, you are stopped. Wait a minute. Someone has been taking photos focused on you. The photos include the enemies you fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Select the second enemy you fought this run. Okay. I remember Kinoko Gatherer, and I remember Obsessed Man. I think Gossip Junkie was later, and I think Leech Girl was later. Does anyone in chat remember what our second encounter was? Because I don't. I think Kinoko Gatherer was our first, right? So if Kinoko Gatherer was our first, Gossip Junkie must have been our second, right? That seems correct. Correct answer. You rip the photo. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it, and with a buzz, the gate opens. <laughs> hmm. Ren says, I'm leaning towards Gossip Junkie since that happened after you went to school. You said something like, no, I talked to you. It looks like we were right, chat. You, you were right. You remembered good. Following the winding staircase, you were stopped by a metal grape. A tiny page nailed to the gate uh, explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you will power up the gate. Grab the rod ends. Knowledge check passed. You're about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. Ten experience. We're getting through this. 94% doom, though. No! Uh, following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. A thick black cloud is obscuring your vision, and you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. Continue climbing. You decide to brave the veil. You emerge a while later safe. You can't, however, explain the blasphemous whispers you heard. We don't have any time to spare. We're at 95 doom. You're stopped by a girl wearing a dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for her bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife in her hand. You have to think fast. Try to reason with her. Oh no, minus your reason. You try to talk her into allowing you to pass, but suddenly she raises the knife and slices right across her own throat, nearly decapitating herself. Not enough charisma. Damn it, Sandals. If only you were more handsome. Dark clouds swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? I didn't! We did it! The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You managed to stop the ritual awakening the eldritch old god but what's done is done it will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right once more congratulations you are safe for now oh we did it level five incoming doom 95 percent playthrough lasted 88 minutes in this run you've managed to solve four mysteries plaguing this town you saw 36 new events encountered 50 new enemies and unlocked four new achievements Look at our handsome boy, our little sandals. He survived the first encounter. Yay. So we cleared out the spooky lighthouse. <laughs> How very cape escape. And now we can keep, we can go on. We can play, uh, we can play the game. Pretty fun, huh? That was pretty cool. That was a cool mod.